Roberta, great to see you again. Great to see you, Mark. Thanks. Um, so, you know, we're doing this leadership series with executives and, and we're also videoing uh, young people, elementary school, etc., cetera, uh, to get their answers. So first of all, just tell us briefly your name, your company, what you do. I am Roberta Nedry. I am the president and founder of Hospitality Excellence Incorporated. We focus on guest experience management, which means we take a look at all the factors that influence making any kind of experience memorable for customers, for clients, and for guests. So then you should have a good perspective or what your definition is of leadership. Absolutely. A uh, red carpet attitude starts from the top and one of the things that we feel most strongly about in leadership is what J.W. Marriott Jr. said to his employees a long time ago, motivate them, train them, care about them, and if we treat our employees correctly, our employees will treat our customers correctly, and if they're treated right, then our customers are happy. And that's one of my strongest beliefs in what makes for successful leadership. How you treat your employees is how you can expect them to treat and appreciate your organization. So you, uh, which is great. That, you mentioned Mr. Marriott. Um, we've all had, you know, an influencer or more than one influencers in in our career, in our life. Maybe they're the same, maybe not. Um, can you give me an example of someone that's really made an impact, influenced your your career? Uh, I have a few. Uh, Walt Disney, of course. Uh, I used to work for Disney. It's one of the great inspirations for the business that I have today. So his philo philosophy and the way he approached. Uh, bringing his different projects into the world were huge for me and continue to this day. Um, I'm also a member of an organization called Les Clés d'Or, and when I was general manager of the International Concierge Institute, I came across this organization, and these are the top concierge professionals in the world, and I've been fortunate to become one of their international honorary members and through them see what true role models of service excellence and leadership are. And then um, another person that's totally influenced me is my business partner and husband, uh, Michael, who is a brilliant and spirited entrepreneur. So many, many different inspirations. Terrific. Um, how would you say one develops either in an organization or a, or a company or a sports team, even a winning culture? I believe it starts with caring when you care about the organization that goes to my earlier comments you care when you care you're able to make a commitment and when you have that commitment you're able to make a connection and when all those three pieces are in place then you can have engagement and a winning culture involves that caring that commitment that connection and everybody being on board with what the goal is and understanding all the pieces of it excellent um so who do you go to for advice? Well, I go to my brilliant partner and husband, Michael. Mm -hmm. I am also fortunate to be in touch with a lot of colleagues who are very entrepreneurial in nature. I have some extraordinary dynamic women colleagues who've started their own businesses and I love calling them with situations and seeing from their life experiences um, what might make the difference or what might be meaningful. And believe it or not, I even go to my French teacher from high school who, back to your influencer question, is one of the people that I cherish most and who has this amazing, inspiring life philosophy. And he continues to be a, a great, great source of advice for me. Je souviens pas. Vous parlez français ou non? Oui, je parle français, monsieur. J'aime bien parler français. C'est ma langue favorite. Oui. C'est moi aussi la langue favorite. Um, <laughs> J'ai oublié un petit peu. Um, ah, ce n'est pas bon ça. Pas Il faut bon. pratiquer. Um, je dois pratiquer pas... beaucoup. Oui. Um, oui, oui. Est-ce qu'il y a quelque chose? Is there something that keeps you up at night? Ideas, ideas, articles, uh, experience ideas. Uh, my business is all about experiences. I'm working on a couple of books right now. I publish a tremendous amount of articles on all facets of service excellence, exceptional service delivery, what makes the difference, making the emotional connection. And it just seems like there's just a plethora of opportunities because treating people right and making them feel good is important in any business. And so figuring out all the different ways to communicate that is something that excites me and actually keeps me up at night. <laughs> 
So you mentioned making a difference with, with a little twist. Um, how do you go about making a difference in the world? I love that question because, first of all, I think it's really important to practice what you preach. I'm extraordinarily passionate about what I do. I think it's about being authentic. And just last week, I had the opportunity to go to my son's school and be a TED-type talker for the middle school. And I loved taking what I do and teaching and training adults and giving an inside peek to these young people. It was all about making first impressions and some true life skills in their journey. And when I have the opportunity to go into those young minds and give them a heads up on what might make them more successful and make their work more meaningful, not only to them but to others, it's, it's a powerful feeling and it feels really good. And I believe in making a difference like that. That's awesome. Good for you. Yeah, I, I, uh, I spoke at a high school seniors not too long ago talking about how they can brand themselves around the world positively. It's, uh, it's spectacular. So, it's, it, you know, the, our, our kids spend so much time on academics and smarts and all these wonderful subjects. And how often do we expose them to these real world life skills that you and I probably learned the hard way. And so I love giving them a, a heads up on that. You know, terrific. Um, this is a question we've all heard before, but I like it. Um, is there a, a leader, past, present, that you, you've admired and, and, as they say, you'd love to have dinner with sometime? Absolutely. Walt Disney uh, absolutely would just love to spend time just going through his thought process. Recently, I've become uh, an admir admirer of Ivanka Trump. I love her style. I love her grace. I love her strength. I, I just love the way that she's making a difference in the Trump organization alongside the very contrasting personality of her father. Uh, another man that I really admire um, is a gentleman named Chris Van Gorder. I've never met him, but he is the CEO of Scripps Hospital in Southern California. And they continue to get top, top awards um, as one of the best places to work for. And I have a chance to read a lot of his philosophy because my mother, who is in her 80s, continues to work for them and do cancer support. And she so loves her job. And it's because of the climate, the culture that this man has created. So from afar, I'd love, I admire him and would love to sit, to sit down with him. That's excellent. So these are the last questions, pretty simple questions, but get a little sense of, of who you are. Um, what's your favorite sport? I two, I have two lately. Uh, one is the one that comes from my California day, California girl days, and that's rollerblading. And my newest sport is boxing. I love boxing. Never would have thought that would have happened in a million years, but I love it. Love the fitness aspect. Love what a boxer has to do to stay fit. And I love punching the bag. Look out, Michael. And your favorite, uh, <laughs> mo favorite movie and or TV show? Uh, again, having the being a fan of Walt Disney, I have to admit, Mary Poppins still my all-time favorite movie. I just can't help it. I also like Grease, but I love, love, love Mary Poppins, awesome. and I love the TV show Survivor. It's a it, Survivor is a family experience for us at home. We turn it into a whole evening, and I love uh, all the dimensions of watching those personalities and challenges unfold. So, love the show Survivor. Favorite type of music. Believe it or not, I love Julio Iglesias, love Latin music, love Latin guitar, and really appreciate all different, any, any kind of acoustical guitar type music, um, and Hawaiian music, and different, uh, different countries' music. It's, it's very intriguing to me to hear the sounds and different instruments. And last question, what's your favorite food? My favorite food, uh, one of our specialties in this household is spaghetti bolognese, love it, but anything again that involves exotic spices and herbs, Indian cuisine and Thai cuisine, love trying and preparing and cooking all of those dishes. Well, you're a very spicy individual. <laughs> Good, I'd like to be spicy. I don't want to be just some um, bland spice or herb. Absolutely. Never spice, have been. Passion's my thing. Thank you so much. You're welcome.